ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful, all praise is due to Allah and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions and of all, all of his followers until the day of resurrection. I welcome you to this new episode from this series Glimpses from the Fragment Prophetic Biography that is the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Now, today's topic is the migration to Abyssinia. This migration was needed uh, because of the persecution Quraysh uh, did to the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. As you know, when the uh, advancement of the call of Islam uh, was advancing, uh, Quraysh uh, actually increased its persecution of these uh, companions and the number of uh, Muslims started to increase so they were very fearful but they really persisted on them they they really uh, faced uh, these companions and, and uh, uh, gave them all a hard time not to exercise their normal life not to trade with them, not to even talk to them, and even uh, uh, insult them, uh, even persecute them um, bodily and mentally in every possible way they, they could. So what happened is that the Prophet wasallam, probably around the uh, uh, end of the fourth year of the uh, prophecy and the beginning probably intensified in the fifth year of his prophecy, peace be upon him, he allowed the Muslims to uh, find a way to find some release and even to make da'wah. And that is exactly what happened. They heard of the king of Abyssinia, the Nogus, or as we call him in Arabic, an Najashi. So Nigus of, uh, of Abyssinia uh, was a Christian man, but was very kind and very uh, sympathetic to the call of Islam. So they, they said uh, he, he's, he, he, was, he was a just person. So what happened is that they sent uh, a group of uh, believers, started with, starting with only 12 men and four women, led by Uthman ibn Affan. Uh, may Allah be pleased with him. So they all traveled to, uh, even with him is Ruqayya, the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa They went to Abyssinia, they spent some time there and they found some comfort. He received them, he allowed them to stay there uh, uh, far away from the persecution of Quraysh. But then uh, again, uh, in, the, in the same year, this was in Rajab of the uh, fourth year. Now in Ramadan of the, uh, uh, of the same year, the Prophet والسلام, recited Surat uh, An Najm and uh, he said, I want to deliver the Quran to these people. Let them hear what Allah says. And so on. So it, it, it really uh, was uh, containing all this uh, eloquency. Um, and, 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 and strong uh, rhetorical uh, 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 advancement in speech. So that's what took place. And uh, he read it loudly around the Kaaba. That's where Quraysh used to sit down and, and gather in their own uh, 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 circles around the Kaaba. So he delivered that uh, uh, these re these ayahs, he, he recited these ayahs before them. So they really kind of uh, were, were really uh, uh, astonished. And uh, when it came to the ayah, فَسْجُدُوا لِلَّهِ وَعْبُدُوا Towards the end of the surah, they all prostrated when he said, uh, so prostrate and uh, um, bow down and prostrate 
uh, for Allah. They all went down and then they kind of like made some stories. Well, it was, he, was, he was reading like he was uh, trying to compromise with us and so on. And he, he, he said this and that. They tried to find some excuse for, for what they did. Now, after this, they really increased the pressure uh, of un-Muslims and therefore the Prophet ﷺ allowed a second wave of uh, uh, migrants to go to Abyssinia, to the Negus. What happened is that 83 uh, men and about 18 or 19 women uh, went to Abyssinia. Now, you'd be wondering because Quraysh is, is looking uh, carefully and trying to stop them from going. The first one, actually, the first group went uh, and found two ships um, in the uh, port of uh, 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 Shaiba, which is known until today, the same place is, is known today near Mecca uh, on the sea. But then a second time they uh, fled, I think, through, through the port of Jidda. And then they went to Abyssinia on the other side of the Red Sea. When they arrived there, of course, the Quraysh knew about them, but they went in the darkness of the night. They could not be uh, caught, and therefore they escaped uh, the, uh, uh, the seeking of Quraysh. Once they arrived there, uh, and the uh, uh, Quraysh started to feel uh, that okay, now he's spreading, uh, that meaning the Prophet was spreading his message all over to the other, to the other people and, and uh, these people are fleeing away. What would happen in tomorrow as they started to increase? So what they said is that we're going to stop this call and they selected two wise, very eloquent uh, 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 men and that is Amr ibn al-As and Abdullah ibn Abi Rabi'ah. They were, before they, they, uh, they were Muslims, and they chose to uh, send them to Abyssinia. They did, and they uh, gave them gifts to, go, to, to give to the Negus in order to uh, turn them to, to their side and to turn them against uh, these Muslims who went seeking his own uh, support and, and, and refuge uh, in his land. So when they, when they arrived there, they met these patriarchs of, um, uh, of, of the Negus and they talked to them and they said, well, these people uh, were, were uh, coming and uh, uh, abandoning our, our, our uh, worship of, of the idols and they, our religion and they tried to make animosities between people and so on and so forth. Well. That's, that's what, they, what they did. So these uh, 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 priests were convinced of what he, what he said. So they, they moved on and, they, and uh, they said, okay, now we have to meet uh, the king. So they went to the Negus and when they uh, uh, saw him, they started and said, tell me, you know, your, uh, what do you want to say? So they said, well, these are uh, some young people who uh, are uh, unwise, uh, they, uh, they invented a, a religion that is the not, not, that's not our religion, nor your religion. It was something new, and they created animosity among our own people. That's why we need you to take, to give them uh, back to us in order to, you know, this is the uh, uh, position of our leaders and elders who uh, are wise and know very much uh, about about uh, uh, what they did, well, uh, uh, of course the uh, patriarch, patriarchs, uh, the uh, priests of Negus, uh, said yes. Well, uh, that is what uh, what we uh, uh, we believed, uh, and 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 they supported them. But uh, the king was very uh, wise, and he said, "Let me hear what you say." So, of course, Muslims. Uh, gathered and they said, we will tell the truth no matter what. So they were led by Ja'far ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu. Now Ja'far uh, spoke on behalf of Muslims and he said uh, this, he said, well, we were a people of ignorance. 
We used to worship idols and eat uh, uh, the dead animals. We used to um, uh, do all the uh, uh, terrible things, uh, 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 indecencies, and we used to cut relationships with our kins and uh, even be bad to our neighbors and um, the strong eats the, the, the weak. And we were this until Allah sent us a messenger from us that we know very well. We know his, his uh, 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 lineage, we know his truthfulness, we know his uh, 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 trustworthiness. And uh, he invited us to worship Allah alone and to uh, abandon what we used in our forefathers uh, used to worship. And he said uh, he uh, prevented us from all the uh, bad things. He actually asked us to offer the prayers and the fasting and to pay the uh, zakah or charity. And uh, he told us about, uh, and he mentioned all these uh, Islamic uh, teachings and, and uh, etiquettes and so on. And, uh, but our, our own people actually treated us so badly and uh, persecuted us and prevented us from uh, uh, taking that choice. And therefore, we found that we only uh, want to go and come, come to you where we uh, selected you, um, you know, above any, anyone else. We wanted to be uh, in your uh, neighborhood. Uh, we know that uh, no one is going to be treated uh, unjustly in your land. So that is our story. Uh, the Negus actually was very, very happy and he said, uh, uh, tell me uh, something that, uh, of what, what has been revealed to you uh, from Allah. So uh, Jafar recited the beginning of Surah Maryam, Kaf, Ha, Ya, Ayn, Sad, Dhikru, Rahmati, Rabbika, Abdahu, Zakariya, Idnada, Rabbahu, Nida, and Khafiya, and so on. So he, he recited this and he continued reading. And uh, the Negus started to cry. And even the, the priest with him started to cry until his beard was so wet, dripping with, with tears from what he heard. And he said, I swear by, by, uh, by Allah that this is exactly the same that uh, Isa came with. Basically, they are coming from the same source. And he said uh, to his own people, to, to uh, Amr ibn Aas and Abdullah ibn Abi Rabi'ah, I will never uh, give them back to you. They will be in my support and my uh, 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 land, safe uh, and, and sound. But Amr was not happy with that. And he said to Abdullah, uh, I'll come back tomorrow with something that will turn everything upside down for them and it will be against them. He said, please, don't, don't do anything more than that. He said, no, I will. So he came the second day and told uh, uh, the Negus and Najashi, he said, look, uh, these people actually uh, uh, said something very bad about uh, Jesus, peace be upon him. He said, tell me, what do you say about this? Well, they said, we will, he was uh, only a, a, a servant of Allah. Uh, and, uh, and his messenger, he was his spirit and his word that was uh, 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 given to Maryam uh, uh, or, or was uh, blown into uh, Maryam, the, uh, uh, the virgin. Well, he said, <laughs> he took a piece of wood um, from the ground and he said, you never, you never said something uh, more than than this away from, from the truth, meaning that it is very, very close. So, of course, the priests did not like what they heard, but he said, even if you don't like it, now, for you Muslims, you are safe in my, in my, in my place. And he said in, uh, in his own language, the Abyssinian language at that time, shuyum, you are, you are shuyum, meaning you are safe in my, in my land. I would never love to have a dubur uh, of gold, meaning, a mountain of gold when any one of you is being harmed. So um, uh, actually he kept them there and they, they, they felt safe. So that was another support and release from the pressure that they got from the, uh, 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 the pressure uh, exercised upon them
from Quraysh. So that was, that was the, the uh, whole story of how uh, uh, the, uh, the story of the Abyssinian uh, uh, migration two times and alhamdulillah, uh, in fact, an Najashi himself, the Negus, was, uh, uh, became a Muslim. And even when he died, the Prophet, peace be upon him, made uh, the uh, funeral prayer, offered the funeral prayer upon him. Uh, and then he, uh, 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 he was, they were happy that they received the support. That ended our talk about the um, uh, story of the two migrations to Abyssinia by Muslims. But we will cover more inshallah, in this series on the uh, uh, fragment, prophetic uh, biography of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Until I see you in a second episode, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٍ مِّن رِّجَالِكُمْ وَلَكِن رَّسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمًا 